Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'll be discussing the Marshmallow update on the LG G4. I got this update a few weeks ago guys and now I have spent enough time and I'm in a position where I can discuss the pros and cons on the Marshmallow update on the LG G4. Now before we start this guys, let's quickly have a look and see which version of Marshmallow LG G4 is running. So if you go all the way right to the bottom and in about phone and from here we can see in the software info guys and it's running Android 6.0 Marshmallow. So this is the Marshmallow, basic Marshmallow, the very first Marshmallow version. I know the 6.0.1 is out already on the Nexus devices and on certain devices, but I'm hoping at some point LG will release the update as soon as it is available. Okay, the phone as you guys know, most of you know that already it's running Snapdragon 808 along with 3 gigs of RAM and the overall performance so far as I'm concerned has become much much better than before it's much smoother and the animations are quite nice so I'm liking um, as far as the overall performance the phone's concerned it's pretty smooth and like I said animations are more smooth as well and everything is more responsive and even the touch to screen has improved which often people complain in the past where the G4 wasn't as responsive uh, I have felt the difference though even though to me personally it was a problem but I can tell you that the animations and the way the touch screen responds to your hand to your touch has definitely improved and no question about it whatsoever it's very very smooth very nice and a very enjoyable experience okay now let's talk about a few cons first guys which I've seen in the last few weeks and the very first one is my own personal problem uh, to be honest it isn't I would, but that would rather be wrong to say personal problem but also something which I really use on everyday basis and I am really unhappy with this and which is my Bluetooth wireless speakers my Bose Bluetooth wireless speakers which I often connect to my LG G4 I listen to a lot of music guys nearly uh, almost a couple of hours every day to work and back so this is one thing which I use often and every time I connect this to LG G4 if I'm not doing nothing just listening to music is fine but as soon as I start checking my messages and if I am doing my social media bit or anything anything else whilst the music is being played and uh, the music starts to crack up there's distortion in the music there's also noise in the music and that's got definitely something to do with the Bluetooth streaming which is being obviously affected uh, ever since Marshmallow has uh, landed on the phone. I don't know why is it happening, what's the reason, obviously I might be far too technical for my understanding but from what I can see guys every time you connect your Bluetooth device and Bluetooth uh, headphones or even my Bose Bluetooth speaker which I'm sure most of you guys know who follow me I also have a Bluetooth uh, speaker from Bose as well both Soundlink series uh, the headphones and also the speakers both have the same issue every time I put music on guys wirelessly uh, always um, it's the, 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 the distortion there's noise there's so much in the music and it's completely you know ruining my experience of listening to music I hope in the next update or in a small minor update hopefully LG will fix this problem but just to let you guys know those people who are looking to buy the LG G4 and if you guys are a mu are music fanatics and you're looking to connect your wireless devices uh, with the LG G4 I'm pretty sure you will have some sort of problem at some point okay the second thing that I noticed guys is about the overall battery life on the phone now that's been affected also um, now when it comes to those it's perfectly fine even the LG G4 without those was performing pretty well when it came to standby uh, battery drains and those of you who follow me on my social media uh, you guys know I quite often uh, take screenshots of those performances on the LG G4 and even without marshmallow it wasn't a problem and with marshmallow now those at the back end still the handset has got no issues and and standby battery drain is absolutely fine with no issues whatsoever I took some screenshots guys I don't know if you can see that in the video but it's right now at the moment three o'clock uh, it says on the 7th of February I uh, took it off from full charge and then when I the uh, next day I checked it at 11 uh, 4 past 11 and it only lost 2% which is absolutely fine and no problems there whatsoever and when I tested it again guys uh, at around 244 on the 8th of Feb again and I was uh, when I checked it around 1224 it was still at 100% so not too bad a very good run here uh, just under shy of 11 hours and I was still at 100% with not even 1% battery loss so as far as the standby timing is concerned the battery drain is not there at all and marshmallow and doors have settled on the LG for really well in the first couple of days I had some issues where it was draining 2-3% every few hours but as time went on a doors really settled down well on the LG G4 and no issues there whatsoever but the area which I don't like 
is the actual overall screen on time guys that's been affected in fact i would say a go as far as it has been affected severely i was getting around four to four and a half hours of screen on time with wi-fi on lollipop before marshmallow but uh, unfortunately ever since i've had the marshmallow update on the phone i'm all i'm only getting around three to three and a half hours of screen on time and this is on wi-fi and on 4G, I think this is going to be even worse. You won't be getting more than two and a half to uh, maybe, maybe, maybe three hours, shy of three hours, maybe. But you're not going to get much out of it. But overall, the battery performance has definitely been affected. And I took quite a few screenshots, guys. You can see using the phone quite heavily, using my social media apps, taking photos and this, that. It's the same stuff which I was doing before. But now I'm only getting uh, three and a half to three hours of screen on time. As you can see here, guys, I used the phone the other day with 4G and Wi Fi both mixed up. I was listening to my music. Same habits as I had with my lollipop the uh, same practices on on on, uh, on marshmallow and I was able to uh, when the battery was down to 30% I was able to get only one hour and 56 minutes of screen on time which is absolutely ridiculous with lollipop I by then by this time I would have had normally uh, two and a half hours of screen on time but here it's obviously dropped down so further down Hey guys again a few more screenshots as you can see and doing the usual stuff that normally most people do pages manager social media soundcloud whatsapp viber skype all that kind of stuff and here again uh, down to 44 percent and i was able to get only one hour and 33 minutes of screen on time so the screen on time has definitely been affected again as you can see guys uh, 77 percent and i was able to squeeze out in the end i think only Let's have a look at uh, 2 hours and uh, 51 minutes of screen on time and this is around when the battery was down to 17% uh, like I said guys same way of usage as I was using when I had the phone with lollipop on and same problems um, not sorry not same problem different problems and you have the SOT now uh, decreased severely so expect to get around a three to three and a half hour screen on time with marshmallow and unfortunately I'm, I'm, I'm you know I'm, I'm very disappointed as well at the same time with the LG G5 out now and powering the same kind of quad HD screen and even a smaller battery my hopes are not really that high guys to be honest this phone has a bigger battery than, than the G5 this has 3000 milliampere battery that phone only has got a 2800 milliampere battery so I don't know how is that gonna work out and what LG are thinking and what kind of optimizations are they gonna provide us if this is this is what the batteries are going to like, suffer, like to suffer then I'm afraid Samsung will be all over the place anyway as you can see in the S7 and the S7 Edge they have bigger batteries Anyways, lagging guys down to 9% and 2 hours and 56 minutes of screen on time, which is again very, very disappointing. Same goes again. I've took a few screenshots and I'm not getting more than uh, 3 hours guys. As you can see around uh, 52% at 2 hours and 7 minutes, slightly better than before. But that too because I have to reduce the brightness and you know, not to use the phone that aggressively. Again, I tested those just to make sure for the third time at around 1.26 in the morning, the battery was up to 100%. And when I took it off the charger at 13.08 after nearly um, over 12 hours in fact or just about 12 shy of 12 hours uh, the battery was still 100% so the battery drain in standby is working absolutely fine guys with no issues whatsoever so the battery life overall when it comes to standby battery drain is absolutely fine no issues but when it comes to I'm afraid the, the overall screen on time the battery has been affected and I'm sure all the LG fans watching this video will be quite disappointed. 3 hours and 15 minutes of screen on time with the battery down to 7%. So the overall screen on time has been affected. It's been severely affected I would say. And with 4G you're not going to get more than 2.5 hours of screen on time. And with Wi-Fi at max you're looking at around maybe around 3.5 hours of screen on time. So bad news dear guys. Now let's also talk about a few things which LG have added which I've liked. For example, um, the, the phone had no uh, silent mode before. It was very annoying. You could always you could only have uh, an active profile or a vibrating a vibrating profile. So now you can have you can put the phone to silent. Unfortunately, you have to do it with a button at the back here. So if you put the volume button down, it goes down, but it still doesn't go to silent. You have to press the, this bit for it to give, get to silent mode. So it's again annoying. They should have put that in the button instead instead of be trying to. And manually tap the screen or the other way is if you pull uh, the drop down menu you will see here the speaker sign there so you have to tap this once for active profile for vibration and then for silent there's the only two ways you can put the phone into active or silent vibration and no other way 
Uh, it's a bit cumbersome for me to be honest because the other phones out there with, with so much much easier way to put on silent mode but with LG and uh, that's how it works unfortunately okay also now you can uninstall from the home screen so in for instance if you have any app for example this bus countdown app you can see as soon as I press it the uninstall option comes up on the screen straight away so now you can uninstall it without even actually going into the app drawer previously you had to go into the app drawer and then uninstall from here but now you can be on the home screen and press any app and then you can also uninstall from the home screen as you can see in the top left corner just right there okay uh, also guys i want to talk about a bit about the knock code as well it's very annoying i don't like it um, and why do i say that i will show you in just a moment so if you go into settings and we, if you go into security which is lock screen there you guys now if you clicked on uh, select screen lock as you can see here you have the knock code option now if i tap on the knock code option it says tap a knock code the knock code must be at least six taps and use at least three different quarters now it was previously four taps now you have to type it six times which is very annoying guys i have tried it quite a few times and to be honest it's so difficult to do this every time sometimes it doesn't respond sometimes it's not accurate so i hope with the more updates they will keep make it more accurate but it's so difficult to remember six code at times you are in a rush you're trying to check your text message you're trying to make a phone call or you want to do something really really quick and i think six taps is a bit too cumbersome it's very annoying it's not practical at all so i won't even bother with knock code anymore you have the pin option the face option all the other options i'm sure most of you will rather be using that instead so it's very annoying that they have got now six and i hope since i sincerely hope that they don't increase the taps anymore because six and four are already too much okay now on tap is also available guys now so if you type on any message you press this button there the now on tap google comes up because right now non wi-fi otherwise um, this would have worked straight away so you press the g bit and the browser opens up and it tells you whatever is there on the screen because the wi-fi is not there that's why it's not working guys but it works and as long as you have the relevant stuff, it will give you the information. Sometimes it works, uh, sometimes it might not pick pick stuff up, but it's more of a hit and miss, and I'm sure they will improve it with time, but it definitely works. Okay, also the RAM usage now, guys, you can go into settings now, and from here you can go into the memory bit, and from here you can see the RAM usage straight away. Now, this is also one thing which I'm slightly disappointed. Ever since the Marshmallow update, guys, as you can see, the RAM usage is far too high. I only got 198 meg of free RAM. Now, it is more, obviously, uh, more usage, and we got less free RAM, but uh, that's the bad news. The good news is that still, it doesn't affect the performance of the phone. I know uh, we had the same issue with the Galaxy um, last year, where the RAM was full up, and it was getting up full up for no reason. But from what I can see, I can see the free RAM is there. Yes, it's very low. It's almost like bottlenecked, but still, the performance of the phone hasn't been affected. That's the good news. So it doesn't affect. This could might be the reason for the Bluetooth issue that I mentioned to you earlier in the video, because that's less RAM. The system is not able to do multitasking efficiently. But that problem has only occurred in the Bluetooth wireless communication so far. Everything else, you open app up, open the Play Store up, do your texting, make phone calls and stuff. Everything is smooth, and there's no issue here uh, whatsoever from what I can see. But the RAM memory issue is definitely there and we only have around i've never seen this go past the 200 mark which is a bit surprising because uh, this skin was supposed to be one of the most efficient and most optimized skin in the last year or so but for some reason i don't know we don't have that much free ram um, but the good news is that the performance is not being affected now also you have the, the app permissions as well guys and this is almost on every marshmallow phone that you're going to get so if you go to settings go into apps here now here you can set individual permissions to apps say for instance if i was to go into the camera bit here and then you have here the permissions bit so if i go into permissions bit here i can stop camera from doing individual stuff say for instance if i do not want the camera to turn uh, itself on at all and and stop on when i try to use it so if i disable this it says if you deny this permission <coughs> excuse me a basic features of your device may no longer function as intended so if i deny then if i go back into the camera guys there we go and you'll see no permissions camera needs permission to take photos and record videos so if you allow it then it will obviously ask you once more allow camera to take pictures and record video and if you say allow it will allow and it will take over the setting which we changed in back in the app settings so you have now individual app settings also present in the phone overall so guys, this was the overall, uh, you know, uh, view of the LG G4 Marshmallow update. Uh, overall, I'm okay with it, but uh, uh, I'm a battery fanatic, guys. I love batteries and phones. If, if phones do not perform, and if the Marshmallow update hasn't improved the battery life, then obviously it's a big one, big one for me. And uh, I think it's something we should we should be keeping an eye on. And because LG G4 is my long-term phone, guys, I've had it for almost a year now, and I will keep on posting videos throughout 2016. So we'll be keeping a special eye on the LG G4's battery life. If more updates improve the battery life 
I will definitely uh, come back on the, on my channel and I will update you guys but I will strongly suggest you to please follow me on my social media uh, Twitter Instagram Facebook and Google plus I often do lots of discussion with guys I will keep you informed about the battery life the performance the overall improvements that the newer versions will bring but so far the battery life has definitely uh, been the biggest for me so far it's, the, it's, 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 it's not as good as it was on lollipop unfortunately and this is something which we all will have to bear with uh, apart from that minor issue with the Bluetooth I'm sure uh, that will also be uh, sorted out at some point and waking up screen from standby is not happening at the moment but it happens every now and then when I tap on the screen they no, it doesn't happen so yeah but like I said it's at times difficult to replicate guys but all in all um, it happens every now and then but a decent update the phone has become smoother overall uh, it's much nicer to play with it's faster quicker efficient but battery life unfortunately has been affected and I hope at some point LG will improve this so guys like always if you please like my video please give it a thumbs up and any questions please feel free to ask me in the comment section and like always guys please subscribe as it helps and I shall see you in the next video